Welcome back to some professional StarCraft 2, a highlight game, a Protoss versus Zerg here on Stargazers. Let me introduce the man who stunned everyone, knocking out your favorites at DreamHack Atlanta. How does he stack up against some of the best in Korea? I give you the Protoss player from Team Envy. It's Nightmare. But on the other side... The most casual Zerg champion, making it look easy to play the most mechanically demanding race I give you, Doc. Who put so many Zerglings and Banelings on the field. It, it, his true strength is outlasting his opponents. His true strength is understanding that most people will crack under the pressure. Uh, even players as good as Maru. Dark has been here, come back, returned again, brought with him uh, a measuring tape, measured out the curtain, said, you know what? I don't know, move him to the other window. Sir, you don't live here. And Dark says, yet. <laughs> we'll see what he has in store for us. Nightmare has a, a, a lot ahead of him. He was able to beat Scarlet at Atlantis Return. We're going to be featuring Nightmare. I'm going to give him some more chances. Him and Bunny... With the real standouts, uh, the the players who n almost no one had getting far in Atlanta, and and now it's on them. They've got a, a few months before I am with Super Tournament coming up as well. They got a few months to prove themselves, especially Nightmare. So we'll see how it goes. I have it on good authority. Okay, good authority that this game is not short. No, don't check. If you're gonna check then just like and subscribe while you're there don't uh but that doesn't necessarily mean one thing or another though on stargazers i think it does imply we're gonna see some more late game oriented units oh i take it back not team envy team gp uh, they need to update that liquipedia picture that's not jimmy's job for one it's not jimmy's fault team gp needs to get on uh updating that Are we just... Has anything happened? All right. I, I don't know. <laughs> More filler. Uh, Dark, building queens. He's got a third hatch on the way. Spore crawlers. Uh, Nightmare went with the void ray first. And following it up with an oracle. Getting the third at the pocket base behind the mineral wall here. Almost impossible, especially for Zergs to deal with. As, what are you going to do? Mine out those minerals? Eventually, well, usually Protoss will, will open it up. Uh, but I don't think early on, especially against Dark. Twilight Forge, so it's not just a straight-to-carrier play. We're going to see a, a ground-based follow-up. Same is true for Dark here. He's got a Rotorn on the way, but this is just your standard. I don't really want to die to Adepts today. We'll save that for tomorrow kind of Rotorn. Uh, Ravager Baneling has emerged uh, as the mid-game counter to most ground armies. Occasionally, you'll get some Hydras attempted against some of those more uh, Blink Stalker heavy armies as well. I think the Hydras are actually a better choice, but only if you can guarantee they're going for Mass Blink. The problem is you can't usually guarantee that. Uh, if they are opting for either Robo Bay uh, or even Mass Stargate, you might think Hydras are the counter to Stargate. No, no, no. Hydras are an expensive way to pretend to counter Stargate while simultaneously slowing down anything that actually does. Uh, a lot of the time, Ravager, Banes, and Queens are the timing attack if you want to try to hit something. The thing is, you're not going to hit anything. Welcome to Stargazers. It's like, Stargazers is 95% of the way to just staying, saying Stargators, okay? Like, that that is... You're not going to be able to do any real attack on the ground. They got three bases. They can turtle up with shield batteries. Maybe some Nidus. Maybe some... Swarm House? 
That is, uh, it could just be straight to Hive, like a seven minute Hive. But I wouldn't put it past Dark. Uh, in fact, I would expect something like Swarm Host from Dark, something that can turn the, the defensive advantage around. Nightmare's actually mining through the mineral wall here, which will open up the opportunity for attack, but also allow his units to move. No, it's not a swarm host. All right, here we go. I don't know why I'm doing that, but seven. Seven swarm hosts to start. Nidus network on the way. And uh, so far, oh yeah, a, a few creep tumors, a handful of lings, an overlord and a drone have died. But overall, this is where the action will begin. Where does the first Nidus go? This is a precarious looking, yep. <laughs> I always like, I think that's a good way. You can get your hands on some of the replays like DreamHack public releases. Go into the game, watch whatever player you're trying to learn from's vision. Occasionally pause and try to figure out what they're gonna do next. And uh, if you're right, either you got lucky or you're actually learning something. Um, I like to pretend I'm both. Well, the Swarm Host figured out. Guardian Shield is good, but the damage output... Uh, well, Blink Stalker's a surprisingly good counter to Swarm Host with Guardian Shield there. He lost... Nightmare has played a perfect game thus far. He's lost nothing. And now he knows this is a threat. Of course... Oh, <laughs> this is an interesting way to go about it. He's just gonna turtle up. He's not going out to deal with the Knight as he's... He, the Oracle! Should have enough energy to burn through. Here comes Dark again. Ooh. Nightmare just full turtling. He's gonna burn through one of the Nidus networks. Wouldn't be surprised to see some Oracles in order to deal with that. I think he spotted the one in the center? No, but you can actually hear it uh, if you have stereo headphones, which is weird to say because it's 2022 uh, and we're not savages. So... The first unit will die, but it won't end there. There goes the Nexus. The Nexus is the first major thing to die. That, oh, 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 the locust land, the surface area, overwhelming. And that mineral wall being down means the Ravagers and Lynx can follow it up, but the Blink Stalker's on the chase. Things escalating incredibly quickly here. As Dark, what? Dark is at 200 supply. Yeah, Swarm Host. He might be supply block there for a bit. He's losing a bunch of overlords. Indeed he is. Um, dark, a, a classic dark move. His overlord's lazily wandering across the map while he maxes out insanely quickly. His priorities are there, really. Like, usually something slips, but it's not that supply count, especially not with Swarm House. The Oracle trying to burn through one Nidus while the other one is on the way up. He jumps into it. The escape Nidus isn't even necessary. Another Locust Wave lands. And guess what? You're going to have to back off from there. You got nothing left. Oh, oh my. Already a messy game. L Lurker Den on the way. Okay. A bold choice, but not necessarily a bad one. As, as nothing on the ground can... Wait, was that two Lurker Dens? I'm sorry, one moment. No, okay, one. I, I thought I saw... It. You know what? I'm seeing double. So far, the swarm hosts have been deflected, but not defused. As as Nightmare is boxing him out, but... What does the swarm host count? 15. I think that's the money number right there. You haven't committed too much of your supply into the swarm host, but it's more than enough to kill a base or or a, an entire warping of units. So Nightmare has to respect them. Five Lunkers on the way. Does he even have any Lunker upgrades? No! Those are stock Lurkers here. No speed, no range, which means the Colossi can outrange them. Uh, and they, of course, gonna struggle to burrow quickly, but the Nidus is all over the place. Dark has been maxed out for a while now. He hasn't managed to do critical damage to Nightmare. And Nightmare's just been building up. He hasn't yet spotted the Lurker. Then just further and further out, these Swarm Hosts. Uh, these Nidus networks. I mean, swarm host transport devices. Dark still, no vipers? Uh, 
Very interesting. No vipers yet. The lurkers are good, but the vipers are what really tie the whole thing together. Swarm. I, I love the forward, the escape knight is here. He just pops all the locusts, wanders back. I know. This is... Just flies over the top. He's going to kill some of these stalkers as well. Keeping Nightmare busy. Nightmare has had no opportunity to attack. Burning through. God, the DPS of those locusts really makes up for their less than lengthy lifespans. Adaptive talents on the way. Nightmare slowly but surely reaching towards 200 supply. Still not there quite yet. And the, the question will be, does Dark have enough active armies? Wait, is there any detection? He has one observer. Where is it? Where's the observer? It's it's with the army. Trust, just trust me, bro. Oh, there it is. It has five HP. That's way too many. This happens so much against Dark. You're finally like, oh my god, finally I have an Oh god. He, he has an attack. He's got half a dozen spy. Oh, no, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh! What? Well, that was certainly a bold move. Ah, uh, he blunked into the lurker concave. And at the same time, Dark will try to dive on the Colossi. The swarm host popping out, realizing they're still on cooldown here. He'll deal with the Nidus. I... Ah, that was that was a bit of a misblunk. He blunked it there. There's a big difference between blinking, blunking, and blunking. And uh, <laughs> one of those pops its head out. Hey, hey, stop that! Get them, boys. Release the hounds. I don't... <laughs> Another Selic comes in. Oh no! no, no, no. <laughs> The, the Archons, I thought they were getting surrounded, but the, they're Archons who thrive on pure anger and use it to burst their way out there. Oh, he pats himself on the back with that overcharge. What a save. Nightmare saves a very important Nexus. Oh, the overcharge able to reshield the Nexus just enough to save the day for now. And Nightmare still hasn't reached 200 supply while Dark is just chilling there. Another, another Nidus. How many Nidus now? Eleven. This is Nidus number twelve. Oh, well, he got this one hose out. He doesn't have an escape. You could just walk. You can walk. You have legs. You have legs, Swarm House. Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I don't know. I mean, look at those legs. Would you walk if you looked like that? Like I do, Winter. Stop attacking me. Well, that's not my... Oh, oh, God. Oh, don't let the disruptor hit you in the door on the way out. The, that was less than ideal for Dark, but somehow, after seeing those disruptor hits, you look at Dark's bank, and it's multiplied. Not only is he max... He's building... Wait, he's building battery packs. Wait, why is he building seven... Oh, he oversupplied. Right? Or, or are you just going to let all those finish? You, just for funsies? Are these battery packs for vipers to consume? Or did he just forget he built seven Evo chambers? What a dark move. <laughs> I think he was going for over 200 supply and then forgot. <laughs> Let's see if I care. He has no viper. He just built 70. You know, just in case of these zealots get in. I don't... Yeah, when he eventually does build those vipers, they'll have plenty to consume. Yeah, he has zero vipers. His army is 24 lurkers and 14 swarm hosts. And that's about it. Like, he's got one hydra and five queens. That's it. Like, he's got nidus, lurker, swarm host. This is the most weirdly... This is... Uh, it, what, what, what is he doing?
Mm-mm-mm. If I was a much more accomplished uh, uh, computer man, then I could make a great joke about hosting networks and uh, packets or something. But right now, uh, it appears the only thing Dark is having is Nidus connectivity issues. As almost every Nidus, besides this one at his back base, which is surprisingly useful, has been shut down. Nightmare realizing that carriers are indeed a unit that exists. I, I do appreciate how he's avoided them this long, but I think he can avoid them no longer. I... <laughs> I can't, you know... I... He... There's no way he misclicks sport. No, he's building five vipers now. It was all part of the plan. Dark is, is five steps ahead of everyone. Okay, he's so far ahead, everyone thinks he's a lap behind. All right? That, <laughs> he's like, ah, look, he's like, he's 13 cars back. He's like, he's a lap ahead of you, bro. I don't <laughs> Seven vipers on the way? As Ser- uh, Not Serral. I don't <laughs> As Dark? How does Zerg's look like to me? As Dark, uh manages to lose his lurkers in an incredibly annoying and efficient way. And here we go. Where are the vipers? Watch him just... What is happening to these disruptors? Dark? Ah, uh, yes. The moment. Okay. You have two choices now. Either you unsubscribe from this channel or you press the like button. I feel like my commentary sometimes leaves little, little room for, uh, for a middle ground here. Um. Well, that's an ultra cavern. As well as lurkers and neural parasite. He's got a sporist. I think he has enough spores, especially against just five carriers. He has enough spores to kill the interceptors. Yeah. Dark is... It feels like Dark is doing, like, one of those YouTube challenges that usually players do against someone in low GM. Then again, to, to Dark, Nightmare may very well be at that level. Like, don't use any Lings or Lisks challenge. And technically, he's only built Hydras to build Lurkers. And Zerglings... Did he even build... He, he, oh, I guess he's lost 58 lings. I don't even know when. Okay. What am I watching? Well, here come the lurkers. The vipers can parasitic bomb, but they can't parasitic... Okay. This is the weirdest fight. Because he's... He's pulling the carriers into the parasitic bombs! It's just killing the interceptors. And he's targeting them with the spores! Dark is over here with, like, uh, two toothpicks, some chewing gum, and uh, a viper straw. And he's taking down capital ships. I don't know. <laughs> oh, the MacGyver Zerg. Uh, he killed three carriers. The lurkers were also there, but it, they were mostly for moral support. Dark has lost 1,700 more gas, which is remarkably efficient considering the units he, he's been using. God, he's so annoying to play against. I would hate playing against Dark. Like, of someone of equivalent skill playing this style. This is the worst. Anyone who can actually control all these, this is every unit that that your uh, mediocre zergs don't build because every single one of them is incredibly difficult to control. Lurker, swarm host, infester, viper queen. It's literally a laundry list of all carrier. Ah, the Elium, get over here. He turns his coat. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess this is the natural evolution is adding carriers to the composition. Just in case it couldn't get more complicated. <laughs> it's like he has a collection quest. 
Okay. Collect 10 carriers. How am I supposed to do that? I don't... Psh. I gotta finish my week, please. All right. That's... My God. This one... Oh, there... Look at them. Look at those stubby legs. I can't believe they've... Cr this... Uh... They have cool biker gang names. They're called the Hell Muffin. The Hell Muffins. Zerg's Armored Cavalry Division. Except it's just a bunch of dudes on tricycles. Alright. After we get home from the HOA meeting, we're gonna ride our tricycles around the cul-de-sac. <laughs> Alright, Ricky, whatever you say. My name's Greg! But but your cool name's Ricky. There's a mothership building, but that's being killed by lurkers. Uh, a lur another lurker. And, oh, the lurker's still killing the mothership nexus, because, which is the main. And the, uh, at some point, this other base died. Will the mothership finish in time to save the nexus from the lurker? Yes. <laughs> Barely. But, uh, which is a sentence I don't think I've ever said be Well, it's not the most rare thing, but the fact it's the main. Why can't lurkers just fire at the ground? Like, they're already underground. Why don't they have a fire at ground button? Honestly, that would might be the buff they need, because lurkers weren't already clunky enough. They're just lur- What? That's, you can't just keep- You have to deal with this! There's ultras on the way. Finally, some zerglings getting added in. More zerglings. Dark, but at home, is just chilling. Oh my god. Uh... Well... I don't know where- I don't know what third-rate strategy guide Nightmare got this idea from. Probably like a loco video or something. He's killing his stalkers to free up supply for his- Alright, everybody, check your notes. Come up with something. Don't look at the production. Uh, Blink DTs. Yeah, that- sure. Against someone who has currently 49 spore crawlers, lurkers, Infestors and Ultralis. He's like, Blink DTs. <laughs> That's the ticket. I don't... Honestly, Blink DT is not horrible at taking down static defense. I. <laughs> and, and much like Dark with his Evo chambers. Maybe it's just planning for the future. Ultras, speed ultras in the main. Yeah. And and the real story is Nightmare now has the gold, and he's lived. He's lived this long. I've been I've been hyping up Dark, but Nightmare has actually been more cost effective. If the game continues at this rate, Nightmare will win the War of Attrition. Like. Oh my. Oh my God. He's just burrowing. He's burrowing ultras. There's just ultras, which is just worse than lurkers, but I... Well, this base ain't happening. He's, he's got... he's got ultras... He's got 18 supply of ultras in his main! <laughs> you think the main base is safe? <laughs> uh. Nobody can see each other. Okay, there's a good revelation. On the run. Scampers away. It, despite Nightmare having a bank and being maxed, it somehow always feels like Dark has already won the game. Dark is losing Vipers to cannons. But why are, how is, what am I, like, what is, what is this? What is this? They're just, oh God, wait, this is happening. Okay, there's quite a death ball there. Is he gonna recall? There's no Nexus in the main. He's he's grouping up like for a recall. All the corruptors wander back. There's still a couple vipers. 
He consumed his hatchery. 100% he consumed that hatchery. He ha you have like seven vipers in the main. And you consume the ha- oh my. I mean seven evo chambers. Fungal, he's just- <laughs> Just throw him out there. He can't miss. Watch. Some more fall- Oh, he gets the mothership! Double time warp. The rare, the rare double bubble. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I saw that one. And the infestors. He fires off some disruptor shots to limited success. Oh my god, where are the vipers? I think there's a there's a microbial shroud in there. He recalls. But what's left to Yeah, somehow Dark just crushes that fight. Absolute obliteration. Dark comes out of that. He's building six more ultras, but he comes out of that with 200 supply. He was building the ultras as he was losing units. Uh, meanwhile, Blink DTs have nothing. You know what? The Blink DTs were the choice, baby. Here we are. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, Dark has a hero list. Come on, Queens. One job, Queens. Yeah, get him. Run. Yeah, we don't like your kind around here. And don't come back. Uh, well, Nightmare down to 135 supply. He managed to get to 200 and promptly lost it. Well, here we go again. Dark is a nightmare to play against. Indeed. I... I... He plays the most frustrating, but effective style. There's so many moving parts. I've never seen so many moving parts move so little. But here come the ultras all over everything. He finds a sweet spot where the, uh, there's this one little star where the archons can't hit. The ultras, oh my God, it's so many ultras are chewing through. The biomass is far too much. The queens show up to the, I, uh, a nightmare has been wiped from the field. The queens can help by transfusing the corruptors. He's got changelings blocking his own ultras. Oh, what a treat. Oh, he's building broodlords. <laughs> Nightmare's at 70 supply. It's just, yep. I want to, I want to take a moment though. I want to go back to the fight because i need to we need to break it down because nightmares had 200 supply how does dark actually i can't believe swarm host into lurker ultra viper corruptor spore god he makes Zerg look simultaneously amazing and horrible. How many queens? All right, so here's here's as we go in. The, the 15 queens, 23 corruptors, but the corruptors are over here. Where are those vipers? Dark? Dark, don't tell me. You think he clicks on the minimap? Wait, he didn't. Oh, they're already at full energy. Where are you going? I don't... <laughs> Wait, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 what? <laughs> They're full energy. I don't think he realized that. Okay. I want to see how this works for him. He just right clicked them somewhere else. He didn't even click them on anything. He just gets like, maybe I shouldn't lose vipers to cannons. Probably a good move. All right, so the army, the ground army here, he's got four lurkers. They're all on the screen. He's got eight infestors and 15 queens behind, how many creep tumors? 141 on the map. I, I'm still loving the Evo chambers, by the way. Nightmare's army is not like, that. that's six carriers. He's got five tempests. He's got a mothership. How many? Templar. He's got six or seven Templar under here. He's got a Viper. 
On paper, this is the death ball. On paper, of course. Even, even Nox, those are great disruptor hits. He kills all, he, the lurkers are gone at the start of the fight. The lurkers are supposed to zone out the Templar, but he, he gets wiped. Dark just loses all his lurkers and his defenses for almost nothing. So not even a, not even a good start for Dark. It's a bad start outright. What are the upgrades? He's only got 1-1 one, one against 3-1 one in the air. So Nightmare has far better air upgrades, which are pretty important for carriers. And he can't even see it. Like, like this is dark vision. Oh, he finds where the... Uh, <laughs> he just... He queued up and whiffed three fun calls. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this timing. I didn't notice this. Look at the I you know what? I gotta I gotta assume it's intentional. Literally as the mothership gets pulled in, 2-2 two -two finishes. That can't be intentional. I, I, it's it's just a happy coincidence. Literally. He gets the mama ship. He's like, yeah, those spores will keep him busy for a bit. And then select all army. Right here. This is it. You select... I, that's, let me verify. Is there any army unit that doesn't get selected? Everyone's here. No, wait. Uh, oh, he's he's deselecting some of his units immediately. Infester control. Lands the fungals. Viper. Queens. Queens target fire plus transfuse. Oh my god. And it just all comes together. The shift clicking on the co corruptors. All right, now in real time. He's not even looking at his units. He's just trusting his free positioning. Wait, this isn't even real time. That was just normal speed, which is like three quarters. There's a there's a microbial shroud underneath, and he moves and squeeds in. I don't know. I just play like dark. Nidus. He's using legitimately like eight control groups, though a couple are just for upgrades. But like. Queen hockey, he's got, is that, is there any overlap? There is some overlap on the queen hockeys. I wonder if that, he has that in a mouse button. Either way. Jesus. I don't know. I, he's just so good. How you d dismantle the death ball? Yeah, just try to, try to get him into a, by the way, using the caster park announcer, a man of culture. From GSL. He just makes it look so easy. He crushed it. He didn't just win the fight. He made it look like it shouldn't have happened in the first place. He made it look like a joke for trying. Well, GG. What? Not this time, Nightmare. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me if you want more breakdowns like that one as well. Uh, and check out this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it made your day a little bit better. See you next time. Good luck, have fun. Stay tuned.